Hey, it's Matt. I was out in the shop today and uh, figured I'd do a quick video. Um, I'm going to be wrapping my forks in a carbon fiber vinyl. Um, I was going to get some aftermarket carbon fiber clip-on ones, but they're pretty expensive. And I figured moisture and stuff would get behind them. So I uh, had some extra carbon fiber vinyl laying around. Figured I'd put it to use. And uh, it's pretty thick. It's outdoor stuff. So we'll see how it goes. So I apologize in advance. Um, wasn't really going to make a video out of this, but uh, decided why not give it a try. So uh, basically, I have this big old roll of carbon fiber. Um, I cut a little piece out. Got a bunch of it. Um, this is just a film on top, protective film. That's what it actually looks like underneath. Hard to tell, but uh, picked that up. Amazon, eBay, somewhere like that. But uh, today, basically going to wrap my forks on my dirt bike and this stuff. Give it a little bit of protection. Give it a little bit of a blacked out look. Kind of look I'm going for. So, um, yeah, pretty simple process. Um, I've only done a little bit of vinyl cover work. Uh, did a little bit on my street bike, stuff like that. But, uh yeah we'll see how it goes i'm gonna go ahead and uh <clears throat> i cut this a little big on purpose that way i had extra i can cut it down once i know what i'm using um so i'm gonna go ahead and go over to the bike and uh kind of get a measurement all right obviously got to get some of the stuff out of the way here so we will do that Also, these are Cherubis Tugger straps. These things are pretty sweet. They've got a cord in here, really strong. Um, if you do a lot of enduro stuff, they're great for uh, pulling your uh, bike out of some bad situations. Um, I need to get a rear one. I don't have one, but uh, this front one is pretty nice. Rocky Mountain ATV. Nice little add-on there. All right. So now, I got my piece of carbon fiber that I cut out from earlier. Um, basically, there's probably way better ways to do this. And I just, this is just how I did the other side, as you can see. Kind of got ahead of myself. Um, actually, you can't really see it from there, but got ahead of myself. I uh, started doing this earlier and uh, figured I'd create a video, so I might as well just do this side. Um, kind of show if anyone's interested on how to do this pretty simple pretty straight straightforward um but for the people that like doing a little diy stuff um without having to pay a shop to do it or anything like that then this is uh this is for you guys so um anyway back to what i was saying basically i just kind of line this up i like to put the seams in the back obviously so that uh People can't really see. It's what I did on the other side. Kind of wrap it around like that. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of trimming and cutting to do. Um, and then what I did is, <clears throat> for the other side, I found the straightest edge I could find. And I started that as my main uh, starting point on the back. And then from there, I found the next flattest edge uh, horizontally here. And lined it up across the top um, and I'll twist this so you guys can see um, and once I found that I wrapped this other piece around kind of got a baseline this isn't a good edge but got a baseline kind of folded it like that and put a little mark to where it would line up butt up against each other pretty pretty smooth it's okay if it overlaps a little but I don't like excessive amounts um, some people leave gaps um, a lot of those carbon fiber clip-ons leave gaps. That's what I originally was going to get, but had this kicking around. It's a lot cheaper um, to do, and those caps are like 70 bucks just for those. And I figured grime and grit would get behind them and start corroding my forks, which uh, it's starting to get a little bit. The other side was worse, but it had a little bit of haze that wasn't washing off, and I'm assuming it was just like uh, salty water something that was etching it just slightly so 
before I stuck the other side on, I went ahead and traced kind of the shape that I used in pencil. So if you do that, it makes it easier instead of having to guess on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out real quick. All right, got it cut out. Kind of an awkward shape, but these also have a slight taper to them. So you got to make sure to remember that whenever you do that test fit up. Um, if you cut it perfectly square, it's going to kind of create like a cone shape a little bit because this being smaller and this being bigger, it won't line up exactly. So have a little bit of issues there, but uh, I always like to over, over cut some things. That way they fit up a little better and you got some wiggle room to uh, to fix any mistakes. So that's just kind of my motto. Um, yeah, so it actually looks pretty good. It'll be a little tight, but uh, once I get it going, it'll uh, I think it'll turn out okay. At this point, um, I'm obviously going to take this sticker off. Um, I'm trying to reuse it, so i got to be careful. The other side, I had fingerprints all through here, which will probably happen. Um, but these are pretty, pretty good stickers. I've already taken them off once, um, adjusting some stuff, so... All right, so now got it all cleaned up, getting ready for the sticker. Now I'm just going to kind of go around, try to find the best alignment, make sure my height is okay, which eh, it's not the best, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, make sure I'm squeezing this as tight as I can around here to kind of counter that taper that I was talking about earlier. Um, because once it sticks, it's going to change slightly from how you have it measured out, so. And it's a little off on the bottom, but I can trim that up. Lengthwise, it looks great. It's going to overlap just slightly, which I'm okay with. And now the hard part, getting it all on and lining it up. Now this is the most painful part, um, takes a lot of patience and uh, being able to get this right. Um, lining this up, if you've done any vinyl and stuff before, uh, you probably understand what I'm talking about. But getting this stuff lined up around round surfaces without air bubbles and like I said, getting it lined up and it's just, it's a pain. It is not very fun and it just, you just got to take your time with it. That's the best, the best approach. Take your time, peel it if you need to redo it. And uh, I recommend using a heat gun. Um, you got to be careful with this. It'll make it stick a lot better, but it also makes it stretchy. So you don't want to use too much heat and then it can throw off the lines and all that. So be very careful using it. Just a little heat will help it. Um, Help it adhere a little bit, and it also helps get the bubbles out sometimes. So that's just a, that's just what I do, and it depends. If it lays down flat the first time, then I don't uh, don't usually use it. Sometimes I might use it just to help uh, the adhesive stick better, but it depends on the application. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, speed this footage up real quick and get this all wrapped up because it's probably going to take me a while so get back to you all right got it all wrapped up um, as you can see, I don't know if you can, you may or may not be able to see, but there are definitely some bubbles, a little bit of bubbles in here, which that is one of my pet peeves, but it is what it is. I'm going to try to work this out. I might need to get a little heat. I'm working towards the seam and it seems to be moving, luckily. Um, but if you run into a spot 
or a bubble will not move or work with you. One thing I recommend, it's not the best practice, it just is what works for me, what's worked for me in the past, is uh, I take a little razor knife, like this little guy, and basically I use just a tip. I just come in and poke a little hole, small enough no one sees it, and I work all the air to the center of that hole, and then I kind of smudge it around a little bit, and most of the time you can't even tell in uh, vinyls like this you don't even see it so I'll probably end up doing that to most of these small bubbles I'm still trying to work this big one out I have faith that this one might come out because it's still moving all right well and you know you can't get them all but you get what you can get so I'm just gonna go through and Try to get some of these air bubbles out here. And heat also helps. Um, once you poke the hole, don't try to blast a bubble with heat thinking it'll melt. Because sometimes it gets worse. It'll expand up and swell and then it looks awful. Um, sometimes it works. Sometimes. But, yeah, it is what it is. And, uh... Sometimes you'll have debris stuck behind here if you didn't clean it well. You have little rocks and stuff, and you can try this method with it, but it won't work. I mean, it's an object behind the actual vinyl, so it's it's going to be there. Um, and those, those are a pain because they're just an eyesore, and you know they're there. And, you know, from a distance, no one sees them, but you know they're there, and that's... That's the part I always hated. Got some of those bubbles out. Enough. I could go through this for hours and find all the little ones that annoy me, but sometimes you just gotta accept the fact that they're gonna be there. This is gonna get torn up anyways with riding and rocks, so... That's all right. It's hard for you guys to see, but behind here, they obviously don't line up, right? That side did the same thing, but I went ahead and trimmed it to make it look better. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my razor, I'm basically gonna start at the this highest point, and I'm gonna blend it all the way around to make it look somewhat better, just to true it up and look good it won't be even but it'll be better than how it is now so same with the top here overhang i'm gonna slice around this edge here trim all that up get it looking good so Never be afraid to get up close and personal with your bike. That way you can find all the little hidden stuff if you ever have any issues. Now the tricky part, lining the dang stickers up. Another one of my pet peeves, especially if you're OCD, about getting lines accurate and stuff. Yeah, that's uh, kind of a final the final uh, product right there. A little dirty sticker. I didn't clean that, but looks pretty good. All in all, it's probably only taken me mm, 30 to 40 minutes. This is all vinyl as well. I did this myself. Um, cut it all out on a Cricut. It's a little chewed up right now, but I didn't want to have to pay 200 bucks for a set of graphics. So I made my own just to break it up a little bit. Basically uh, found, well this one I took a picture of the fender and drew it all out myself on like Microsoft Paint or something simple. And then uh, blew it up on our Cricut machine and measured it all out and then printed it. 
didn't fit perfect. These are supposed to be kicked out just a little bit more along here. But uh, since I made it on a flat surface and this is a curved surface, obviously lines don't, once you start laying it down, it doesn't line up exactly. So, but all in all, it came out pretty good. I did that. I did the front mask, which I covered with my numbers. Um, but something that helped me, and then the back, the tail pieces right here I did custom. But uh, one thing that helped me, if you want to do that, is you actually go on to one of the programs or one of the websites where you buy the graphics and you customize them. They have the templates. So then you can screenshot it and then use that template, blow it up to the right size and add designs however you want, color and all that. So just a little, uh, just a little tip. So I'm going to put this back on, get it all buttoned up and it'll be done. Hope someone got something out of this. So if not, oh well. Hey, I just want to say thank you for those that stuck around and watched the video. Um, may not have been too exciting, but I really appreciate it. Figured I wanted to change things up a little bit instead of just doing some riding out in the woods or any of my races that I do. So, thanks again for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll be doing some more eventually in the future about maybe some little maintenance things here and there, or just fun little dirt bike stuff. So, um, we'll have to see. But this is a trial run, I suppose. Um, yeah. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.